Having fun? Yes. What's the best part so far? Uh, I don't know. The pigeons? The pigeons are boring. Did you see the White House? Yes. Who lives there? Barack Obama. Very good. Wow. Josh <laughs> just had Corey in the house. Yeah, Corey. <laughs> Corey. Listen up, across the street is the Ford Theater, okay? The main door is the one that says Ford Theater by it, okay? I've been watching and the, the police have the museum shut down, so we can't get into it. The Peterson House is directly, and we are in line for it. Okay, so we're going to the old post office building, post which office is building. right here, right? Right. There's Lucy. Hi. And uh, that's another building there. It's curvy. It's a curvy building. Yeah. We were wondering where is the new post office building? Yeah, if this is the old one, and I think it's very nice. They should keep using it. But where's the new one? So we're going to have some lunch here at this post office pavilion and we're meeting back here afterwards so the only change is be here at 12 15 right here okay all right 12 15. Yeah, okay. we'll be going other places where are we uh i forget where are we <laughs> old post office okay yeah what's so old about it it's, it's very old it was built know. a long time ago okay so yeah that's okay i have a story okay so we were in there, I don't know if you can see that, and I was thinking, what a drab building for the old post office of Washington, D.C. And then, we came out here. It reminds me of a... It's so cool. It's like... Do you see the great lunch structures? I like this hat. I should do a hat dad. Okay, so we just went to the old post office, which is really nice for an old post office. And uh, we were able to do what there? Yes. Eat okay. the glass elevator. We, used, we went in the glass elevator up to the top and got to see the city. That was really cool. And I yeah. ate a Greek hero for the first time and it was really good. Was awesome. And I thought I, thought I was going to die from fright. Did you have the lamb? I had lamb. Isn't it great? <laughs> it was weird. Alright. Headed to you for the record. Okay. <laughs> but well, that's record. not that new to me. So. <laughs> so here's Pennsylvania Avenue, which is where we will be marching on Tuesday. <laughs> There's where people will sit to watch us march, and that Wait, guy will wave. One. That's Ben Franklin. <laughs> oh, it is. It's Ben Franklin. He'll be waving at us. Ben Franklin. Yes. My my place of employment. Your place of employment. We got a call yesterday from CBS, and they they're wanting us, you know, to come on to the morning show tomorrow morning. Um, we were the first group that they contacted. 
So they want, you know, want us to be the ones. So it's going to change our plans a little bit in the morning. And, um, just a little bit. It's going to maybe be a little bit earlier. But there, we're talking, you know, the Katie Kirk and the whole, you know, the, the national CBS. So uh, we'll just let you guys know a few more details. And coolness enough of this is, has anyone ever watched the CBS Early Show after you were on it? Okay. You all watched it? You watched the CBS Early Show? No. Do you know who the weatherman's name is? His name is David Price. David Price is going to interview three of you. Okay? And we'll choose and decide who those three are going to be. But anyway, you are going to be on each weather segment every single time. Okay? So that's what we're going to be doing. They're going to be filming in three different locations. We're going to the weather location because they guarantee us you will all be on TV if we go to the weather station. Okay? That's going to be at 7th and Madison. 7th and Madison. When we get back over to the mall, you'll see where that is. All right? So tomorrow morning, you can call your parents and such, but don't do it now because I'm going to ask you to do this right now. I want you all to turn off your cell phones immediately because when we go over to changing the guard, I can't have any ringing. When we go over to the changing the guard, the other thing that you can't do either is you can't have a hat on. Okay? It's respectful. So we're going to go over, we're going to go through this arboretum now, and we're going to we're going to see this is some of the places that you could have a funeral service.
Hard. Halt. Excuse me. Coming through. What time is it? What time is it? What time is it?
what happened? Uh, the bus just took the car away on at the moment. He, had, he was hitting the car as he was turning. Oh no. Right, so now he's been in an accident, so he can't move. What? Oh, I was waving frantically. Oh, did I look like a tourist? <laughs> Good. <laughs> well, um, you'll have to stop by something. Hi, Harry. Say hi to my mom, Harry. He was just so ignoring me. <laughs> Is that our guy? Is that our guy? I would assume that. No, but we gotta do that. 
Especially this inauguration, I mean, this is history. To be a part of history is going to just, I mean, be just something we'll take with us, hold with us forever. I think our community can hold it forever, too, you know. We're going to probably submit things to our historical society when we, uh, when we get back, and, and it'll be a part of Fergus Falls history. And did the community do some fundraising for this? Oh, yeah. How would oh, yeah. you do to raise money to get here? Um, oh, we had lots of fundraisers. Um, I, I, don't, I wouldn't even know where to start. But we also had the community just giving awesome. giving us money. We were sixty-eight yeah. thousand dollars, um, and and that's pretty much paid for the trip for the kids. Yeah. And um, is there any kids here that I can maybe speak to? Yeah, if you want to talk to someone on the way here. You gotta go fast. <laughs> we're gaining. Ready? Two. Are we stepping in? Okay, I'll just do it. You record it. All right. Okay. Hold on. Okay, go. Ready? Oh. Aaron just hung up on someone. Ha, ha, ha. 